2010, our population has increased by 300,000 people, far eclipsing the rate of any neighboring state. In fact, the U.S. Census just put out that from July of 2020 to July of 2021, Indiana saw more people move to our state than any of the 11 other states that make up the entire Midwest region. Hello and welcome to Inside Indiana Business. I'm Gary Dick. Governor Eric Holcomb there from his State of the State address earlier this month with some surprising numbers to some, showing Indiana gaining population. Positive news in the state's bid to attract talent. How is it happening? Well, for uh, some answers, we look at Northeast Indiana. The region has a goal to increase its population to 1 million residents by 2030. And over the past decade, the population there in that region has grown by about 5%. And the region's anchor Fort Wayne, the fastest growing metro in the Great Lakes region in 2020, that according to the U.S. Census Bureau. For details on how it's happening in Northeast Indiana, please to welcome back to the show Northeast Indiana Regional Partnership President and CEO Stefan Frigia. Stefan, uh, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Gary. Happy to be here. Joining us from downtown uh, Fort Wayne, the summit city where there's a lot going on. There's been a lot of momentum uh, in Fort Wayne and by extension, Northeast Indiana for some time. Stefan, if you could kind of put your, your, your finger on it, what's, what's driving? Is, is it just uh, positive things happening, creating more and more momentum? What's, uh, what's happening there in Northeast Indiana? I think you're, you know, you're right there. Success begets more success. I think you know a lot of the credit goes to local mayors and you know county uh, commissioners and the business community because they had uh, a few years ago they stopped believing themselves and making the right decisions, make the right investments uh, that to make the region more attractive to uh, to residents. You know, in investment in downtowns, investment into new in industrial park, office parks uh, to attract the employers, uh, but also make it really. Um, uh, tangible to people that there's positive momentum and people can stay, invest their own dollars, um, and talk to your friends about you know how great it actually is to live here in Indiana, and specifically here in East Indiana. So I think you know we're getting to a point where there is positive momentum and critical mass that uh, is actually propelling forward. You know this momentum that the governor was speaking about. So many projects up there, Electric Works, the old General Electric campus there, several hundred million dollars being invested uh, there, massive redevelopment uh, of the riverfront, the three rivers uh, in Fort Wayne. And just, uh, I guess, last week, the landing announced the next phase of that $12 million project. How important, Fort Wayne serves as the anchor, I guess you could say, of the region. How important are these developments for the broader region to attract and uh, bring population in? Those are great examples of what is possible. I'll just speak to my own personal experience and when I was looking to take this job, uh, uh, driving by Electric Works on these projects, really what told me that this community is ready to take risk, ready to invest in themselves and ready to move forward. Uh, I was very candid with the, with the folks in town that uh, if Electric Works wasn't happening or all this project did not move forward, I'd probably would not take the job because it would not speak well to the potential of the, of the region. But, you know, we're doing it, you know, our community is responding well, and we're creating that, you know, impression that it is possible, and, and the investors are getting the returns. So I think that, you know, the momentum that we've seen here in Fort Wayne specifically as people move through the region um, carries over, you know, also to other parts of the region, all the way to Warsaw, all the way to Angola, and in between, yep. um, because all the investments are happening across the region. Yeah, you talk about investment. It's estimated there's been a billion dollars in investment over the last 10 years downtown Fort Wayne, another billion expected in the next four to five years downtown. Uh, Fort Wayne Mayor Tom Henry told our Mary Rachel Redmond uh, just a few months ago that is translating into people coming downtown. We've more than quadrupled the amount of people that live downtown now. And as a result, more and more investors are approaching us saying, will you partner with us to do this particular project? And that's the way it's been for about the last 10 years. Yes, yeah, Stefan, as you look at that, that influx of people actually living, working, playing in downtown Fort Wayne. News this week, the Wall Street Journal out with uh, the uh, emerging housing markets around the country. Fort Wayne ranked seventh in the entire country. It's the critical mass you talk about, I guess, including housing and you know places to live and, and a vibrant economy that all kind of adds up to this population uh, increase equation. I think there is also a tremendous amount of latent demand. 
um, I think the number of population may be even better, even higher, um, if you know the uh, our market was also keeping pace, you know, with the all demand on the on the housing side. Um, I think the as we kind of tackle workforce, we tackle housing, you know, and then more attainable housing for workforce. Um, we all see those trends in the moving up, um, and I see a lot of movement in across Lemon counties on how we tackle that and create opportunities for people to choose to stay and choose to come. Yeah. Uh, I think, you know, we have all the makings for aggressive test story for us. Yeah, hey, uh, Stefan, we only have about 30 seconds left, but I know the region, Northeast Indiana, got $50 million as part of those regional uh, uh, grants, the, uh, the next iteration, if you will, of regional cities. A lot of money coming in there. I know not only Fort Wayne, but communities around the 11 counties there are looking at specific projects now that they think can uh, take things to the proverbial next level. Yeah, about 130 projects that were initially identified, you know, for for this program, uh, and as we suspect that, you know, many others, and now that we have more clarity about the criteria, will come forward. But when you look about that uh, slate of 130, it was projects that would advance, you know, downtown vibrancy, uh, would advance, you know, uh, workforce housing. Uh, programs, you know, for, for training and ultimately entrepreneurship, because also we got to, you know, realize that uh, we don't need to just bring company in, but there's a lot of innovation that is latent within our communities that's just looking for a little bit of help, yep. you know, to create the next unicorn. Yep, uh, very good. And I know those uh, projects generating a lot of private investment as well. Stefan Frigia, the president and CEO of the Northeast Indiana Regional Partnership. Stefan, it's always great to see you, and we'll keep tabs on what's happening in Northeast Indiana. My pleasure. All right.